The WWE is not just fighting in the ring. Angela Scott talked to one wrestler who is fighting for a good cause outside the ring. So during these unchartered times, we're all trying to do our part, if not only for ourselves, but definitely for others, especially those with underlying health conditions. Joining us today is Roman Reigns, a WWE superstar and leukemia survivor himself, as well as Dr. Louis De Janeiro, PhD president, CEO of LLS. Good morning to both of you. Roman, I wanna start with you. Um, I can only imagine, I know where I was when I heard about COVID. I just, it kind of, you know, I, I wasn't quite sure about it when I initially heard about it. I didn't see it getting this out of control. What was your first thought knowing that you have an underlying health condition when you first heard about COVID? Uh, I was nervous, you know. Um, I, I take, you know, it very seriously, um, keeping my immune system at its strongest point, you know, being that I am a uh, leukemia patient. Um, this is something that I'll have to continue to fight throughout the entirety of my life. Um, and I just don't want to put myself at risk to not only, you know, be subject to COVID-19, but to put put my body in a, in a situation where I can relapse and, uh, you know, have my blood uh, affected by leukemia again. So I, I take it very seriously. Um, but, yeah, I think the scare, the initial scare and, and just the outburst, of how quickly COVID-19 was spreading um, really just made me take this thing as serious as possible. Not not only just for myself, but for, for my family, um, for, you know, my neighbors and my community alike. That's right. And just me speaking with you, it's, uh, it tells me again, it's a huge responsibility for all of us to do our part to keep others safe as well. Um, what are you doing specifically for yourself and your family to stay extra safe? Well, you know, we, we've definitely taken the lockdown and quarantine very seriously. Um, we, we have been practicing social distancing um, from others. You know, obviously within my household, uh, we have just maintained and stayed to ourselves. We do not leave unless it's, you know, essential for the household, you know, as far as food and things like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, when we do go out, we wear, me and my wife, we wear masks, we wear gloves. Um, we are a little bit standoffish, you know, I, and I come from a business that I'm, I'm in a handshake business. We greet everybody that yeah. you see on a daily basis. And that's been one of the hardest things for me is not being able to say hello like I like to. Um, but it's important that we adjust and we create a new normal. Um, and it's no, you know, I hope no one takes offense. It's, it's not out of disrespect. It's out of love and respect for them and their health um, and trying to protect everybody. Uh, because like like you've been hearing and everyone's been saying, we're in this together and we really need to act like it. Dr. De Janeiro, what do you uh, what do blood cancer patients need the most right now? How can we help? Well, I, I think Roman said it very, very well. Uh, blood cancer patients need quality information. You know, he, he, he's the perfect example of a, a cancer patient who, by the nature of their disease, their underlying disease, cancer, and some of the treatments they take, um, may have a compromised immune system, and so they have to protect themselves. Patients really need to know how to do this, how to approach it properly, uh, what precautions to take. At the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, we've stepped up for blood cancer patients to provide that kind of information. We have a group of oncology nurses and social workers who talk with patients every day, answering their questions, guiding them to treatment, making certain that they, um, they're getting the treatment that they need at the right, at the right, with the right physician all the time. Something that's come across our radar screen recently is the financial distress that patients have. And in response to that, we've created the LLS COVID-19 Patient Financial Aid Program. This provides blood cancer patients with $250 of financial support for non-medical expenses. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, the um, uh, since since April, we've distributed four million dollars to fifteen thousand patients all across the all across the United States. Wow! Thank you so much. Thank you so much for what you're doing for everyone, and thanks for helping educate us on how to stay stay safe. Yeah. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you.